There are lots of different ways to cook an egg, but what's the difference between the eggs you use to make your breakfast and the eggs which make a chicken? To find the answer, we need to investigate the secrets of life, which start with your genes. All living things are made of cells, but to understand how to make a living thing, we need to look inside a cell. So your body is made of around 50 trillion cells, but in order to see them, we need to zoom in and study them on a microscopic scale. So first of all, I need to take a swab of my own cheek cells, and then we're going to apply a blue dye in order to see them. We've magnified this image by 200 times. And if we look at this dark spot just here, this is the nucleus of the cell. And this is where we can find something called chromosomes. Chromosomes are made of DNA, which is divided into sections called genes. These genes contain the instructions for living things, everything from making new cells to the colour of feathers. To make an entire human, you need 23 pairs of chromosomes, containing 20,000 genes written in the language of DNA. Different animals have different numbers of chromosomes. Where we have 23 pairs, a chicken has 39 pairs. But what have chromosomes got to do with your breakfast? So to tell us a little bit more, I'm here with Joel and we've picked up some eggs from the supermarket. But Joel, is there any chance of these eggs having a chicken inside them? So it's a very low chance these eggs will have chickens inside them because the hens that laid these eggs will not have been kept with the cockerels. Okay then, so how can we go about proving that? So the definitive test will be to crack the egg open and to take a look inside. All right, let's crack it open. So what are we looking for here? So we're looking for something called the blaster disc, which is the small white spot that we can see on the surface of the egg. And what exactly is that? So this is where we find half of the chromosomes, half of the genetic information from the hen. So how would a hen go about getting a full set of chromosomes and all of that genetic information? So a hen would need to mate with a cockerel and the cockerel's sperm would fuse with the genetic information from the hen to fertilize the egg. And we'd then have two sets of chromosomes. And the blaster disc is the point at which that fertilization actually happens. Yeah, so, so this is where fertilization would happen and this is where the embryo, the actual chicken, would start to develop from that point. In humans, this development of the embryo is called pregnancy and it happens inside the womb over nine months. But in chickens, this gestation period takes place inside the egg over just three weeks. And finally, after that time, you get a new life. To unlock more secrets of biology, check out Neris Dissecting a Brain. Stay tuned to our YouTube channel because next week we'll be running a live stream directly from the hatchery. So if you'd like to see the chicks hatch for yourself, click subscribe. Thanks for watching.